Now, this is unfortunate because I was looking forward to this. This was going to be, I think, the chief support for the Canelo Bivol fight. Philip Hergovich has been for- forced to withdraw from the IBF final eliminator with uh, Zili Zhang or Zhang Zili, as they're calling him here in this boxing scene article. And this is due to the unfortunate news that Philip Hergovich's dad has recently passed away and Hergovic is understandably distraught and therefore he has decided to withdraw from the bout. And, you know, some people handle a bereavement differently to others. Most people, I have to estimate, are going to react the same way as Philip Hergovic. They're going to be too distraught to be able to focus on their training and focus on the fight. But other people, for whatever reason, are actually, I can't say, is encouraged the right word to use? I don't know. Inspired, perhaps? They're inspired by a bereavement and they end up producing the performance of their life. The obvious example would be Buster Douglas against Mike Tyson, who lost his mother a couple of weeks before the fight. And his mother, it, Buster Douglas was a, a mother's boy, right? He was a mama's boy. His mom was his best friend. He was extremely close to his mom. And so, yeah, his mom dying so close to the fight, you would assume that he's going to be in bits. You would assume that he's going to not be in the right mental and emotional state to face the baddest man on the planet, Mike Tyson. But the opposite was true. (laughs) Buster Douglas was inspired by the death of his mother. I guess he wanted to do it for his mother. I guess he felt like his mother was still with him in spirit. And maybe he was hearing her voice in his head, you know, and what have you, who knows. But uh, yeah, he went on to produce an incredible performance. But you can't expect everybody to react like that. You don't know how you're going to react, actually, until you lose a loved one who's very close. And in this case, as I say, unfortunately, Hergovic's dad has died. Uh, It says he was actually in early April, so it would have been a few weeks ago. I guess Sergovic has just found that he can't get over it, can't train like he wants to, and doesn't feel like he's in the right place mentally or whatever the case may be. So Zhang will still fight the 39-year-old silver medalist at the 2008 uh, Summer Olympics in Beijing. He will still fight against a guy who lost to Jerry Forrest. Does it have the guy's name here? And he lost his last fight to another Hispanic dude whose name I forget. He's someone who lost to uh, Dominic Brazil and a few other people. I forget the guy's name. He's not very good. (laughs) All right, but Zhang is going to go in there against someone who he should beat, basically. So, uh, yeah, unfortunate for Hergovic, obviously. And you wonder whether he, you know, I'm not really the most superstitious person, but You do wonder about Hergovic's luck because he's been trying to secure this eliminator for the longest time. They've made offers to so many different people. And yet when he actually finds an opponent, then his dad ends up dying. Do you know what I mean? It's just like terrible, terrible luck for Philip Hergovic. So yeah, hopefully he manages to recover mentally and emotionally, get himself in a good place. If Zhang comes through against this journeyman, Maybe they can reschedule the fight for later on in the year. And then Hergovic presumably beats Zhang and gets made mandatory for the IBF, whoever ends up holding it by the end of the year. The IBF tend to expedite their mandatories sharpish. So hopefully we'll see a mandatory get called, as I say, by the end of the year. But let me know what you guys think about Zhang's opponent, whether you're still looking forward to seeing this 39-year-old Chinese heavyweight. Uh, he fought Jerry Forrest, uh, was it his last fight or certainly a recent fight? And it was a seesaw battle between him and Forrest. Forrest was down numerous times, but in retrospect, see, at the time it looked like a really, really bad night for Zeli Zhang. But in retrospect, given how well Jerry Forrest did against Michael Hunter, it actually doesn't look that bad for Zhang, does it? Because <laughs> Michael Hunt has beaten some decent heavyweights. He's looked good. Obviously, Martin Bacoli stopped him. Sergey Kuzman beat him comprehensively. 
I thought he was unfortunate not to get the decision over Povetkin. I think he's fought a few other people since then. Then he goes in with Jerry Forrest and many people, including myself, believe that Hunter was extremely fortunate to get the decision in that fight. Maybe he just underestimated Forrest because he had beaten him quite comfortably earlier on in his career. And so this time around, he thought, well, I've improved a lot since then. This will be a walk in the park. And obviously it wasn't a walk in the park. I don't know. But either way, that makes Zhang's victory. Was it a victory or was it a draw over Jerry Forrest? I think it was a victory. But that makes Zhang's fight with Jerry Forrest look better. Or his performance, should I say, against Jerry Forrest look a bit better. So let me know what you think of Zhang uh, Hergovic. If he gets rescheduled, how are you expecting that fight to go? Let me know.